Hey, out all you Christians and bronies out there on YouTube, this is Adam Streets coming at you guys with another Christian video. And um, in this video, we're going to be talking about God being there for us and that um, he'll be good, uh, I mean, he'll be there for us through the good times and bad times. But we've, Before we get on to that, um, I hope you guys have had a great week. I know I have. So, um... I heard that school's coming back around the corner. Yay! No, I'm just kidding. Boo! Yeah. Um, for those of you who haven't already gone to school today, um, you'll be heading back to school tomorrow. Boo! No. But, that's okay. At least, hey, look on the bright side. No, there, the, the, there's no bright side. I'm sorry. There's no bright side to that at all. No. But anyway, uh, we may be getting off topic, um, but today we're going to be talking about um, the Lord being there for us, and um, the first off, what we're going to talk, well, first off, what I'm going to say is, um, have you guys ever been bullied before, you know, people have ever threatened you, ever said, if you're a Christian, then I'm going to do so and so, and this and this and this to you, um, if someone has ever said that to you, well then, I have a verse right here that will help you out. And just to tell you that the Lord is with you, and He's going to be with you through it all. But don't just take my word for it. Here, take God's word instead. Right here, it says right here in um, Romans 8.31, it says, If God is for us, who could be against us? Which, in saying that, it means that God is for us then who can be against us? Which means you have the ultimate mighty God on your side. Can you believe that? A giant God, which means no one in the whole universe can challenge him. Nobody. Not even Satan. Nobody out there can challenge God. If God is on your side, you are, oh, you better watch out. All you people out there who are bullying, uh, all us Christians out there, and all the people out there who are saved, well, we have a big God on our side, and He's definitely going to protect us. And He's definitely going to protect you, too. So, all you Christians out there, just don't worry, because God's on your side. And, um, you know, if God is for us, and who could be against us, right? But if that's still not enough for you, well then, let's flip, let's flip back. Um, Matthew chapter 10, verses 22 says, All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Um, saying that, it says that all all people, all people out there, they're going to hate you because you're a Christian. They will hate you for being a Christian. They will. They did so to me. I was bullied like three times in school and it was because I was, I was a Christian. It's because I stood for this guy. Mm -hmm. I was bullied. So, all you people out there who are getting bullied or picked on, um, I've been there. I have been there. Trust me, a lot of bad things happen. I mean, I was picked on, I was cursed at, yes I was, and someone even stole my favorite jacket. It was red, red's my favorite color, and they stole it from me in gym class. Uh, we may be getting off topic again, but it was my favorite jacket. I liked it. But... It also says in the verse, it says, But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Which means, um, all you Christians out there who are getting bullied and picked on, don't worry. Because just hang in there and keep fighting the good fight and keep running the good race. Because it's all going to pay off in the very end. When Jesus comes through those clouds again, he's going to be staring at you and saying, Good job, my good and faithful servant, for always serving me and believing in me and having faith in me. Good job. And if that's still not enough, let's move down a couple verses to verse 28. Still, still in Matthew chapter 10. Verse 28 says, Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, um, who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Well, um, what he's trying to say in this one is that do not be afraid of those who can destroy the body here. Which means, do not worry about those who can do harm to you. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but 
Don't be afraid of those people out there. Just have faith in God. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Philippians 4.13 So, do not be afraid of those who can harm you because God is with right there with you. He's, um, he's there for you. And it says, be afraid of the one who can destroy soul and body in hell. Which means, um, be afraid of the person who decides where you end up. That, that meaning Jesus. But, uh, it's a spiritual fear. There's a difference between normal fear and spiritual fear. When you spiritually fear God, which means, um, you fear Him with a loving fear. Which means you know that He's all great and powerful and that He can do basically anything He wants to you. So, it's best to have a spiritual fear for the Lord. But you also need to love Him too. He's not going to punish you or strike you down as soon as you make a bad move. He's not going to do that. He's a gracious and kind and loving God. And he's always going to be there for you. So that's basically all I had to talk about in this video. I sure hope it helped all you Christians out there who are struggling with this particular problem. But just um, don't fear. Don't stress about it. It's going to be all right. All right. The Lord's there with you. He's every step of the way. He's like, all right. He's just he's just like all right all right let's go let's go whatever the challenge is let's 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 go I'm all there for you let's let's go buddy so Jesus is right there with you and he loves you guys he really does and just keep your eyes open and he will surely be there for you all right guys that's all I have to say in this video so be sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos and um. I'll be praying for you guys. All you guys out there who are having trouble with that problem, I promise. I pinky promise. I can't break a pinky promise. I pinky promise that I will pray for you guys. I pinky promise. Pinkie Pie's watching me, don't worry. So, yeah, you kind of have to do that. But, um, yep, see you guys later. Um, God bless, and I hope you guys have a good week. And um, don't stress about school. Remember, just think of the positives. If there is any positives. See you guys later.